Now, again, as we said, we're not sure what caused this. Um, it could possibly, and we emphasize possibly, have been a ground impact of a scud. It could have been a ground impact of a Patriot, or it could have been the result of debris falling between the two of them. We just don't know right now, but we do know that at least two scud missiles incoming were fired at Riyadh, and according to the Saudi military, they were both shot down. Charles Jaco, CNN, reporting live from Saudi Arabia. was almost exactly two hours ago when the sirens went off here in Saudi Arabia. Where we are in eastern Saudi Arabia, there was no problem. However, there was an intercept elsewhere near the capital city, Riyadh. We've got some videotape of that you can take a look at right now. Hi, Atlanta. We're about to have a short course in missile identification. This is a Scud. You can tell it by its distinctive label. Now, when the missile is launched, the first thing you look for is the plume sticking out behind it. Now, when you detect this, you can tell it's been launched. You Thank see you. The graffiti on it? Yeah, show me graffiti. <laughs> Larry King show or bust. <laughs> look at this. Look at look. Look at this. Look, look at this shit. Look at it. Let me say hi. The top ten things about Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Maybe we could shorten the list to five. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Geopolitics by Dan Quayle. <laughs> <laughs> Je suis un journaliste américain. <laughs> Wolf. 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 <laughs> oh, I love this country so much. You guys just don't have a clue. Well, Cheryl, it was almost exactly two hours ago when the sirens went off here in Saudi Arabia. Where we are in eastern Saudi Arabia, there was no problem. Now, let me just size my mask and fit it for a second, just like I always do. Stand by. All clear. Oh, what are they saying? Are they saying all clear? Were they saying all clear down there just now? All clear. All clear. At the end was a false alarm. Got that, Atlanta? Standing down now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get my hamburger and my coffee. Good. Uh, we just got the all clear. Now. All clear. Every time I order something, this happens. All clear. Thank you. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm starting to get real bothered by all this. Boy, did I almost look stupid. <laughs> Charles Jaco, CNN, reporting live from Saudi Arabia. No, wait a minute. Whoa, hold it, homeboy. I'm the talent here, you dig? <gasps> a couple of explosions, what may have been uh, an outgoing Patriot... Uh, ground-to-air missile, uh, some reported air bursts that may, may have been an intercept of an incoming Scud missile. We're really not sure. All we know is that the uh, air raid sirens have gone off, and we've heard the uh, outgoing roar of at least uh, one Patriot missile. We've heard some sort of air burst. We can't tell where it was from where we are right now. Uh, we're waiting to see what's happening. As you can hear, the air raid sirens are still going off around us. People are, uh, strangely enough, used to it. This is the first one of these attacks that's taking place early in the morning, but they're... Uh, we've not shown you anything other than uh, what we've got now. What did you see there? Is that a missile going out? No. Uh, we're, not, we're not quite sure. We can't show you anything else than what we're seeing right now uh, because of uh, military regulations. We are not allowed to show you uh, where the missiles might be going, what direction they might be flying in where the airburst might be taking place. There's obviously something going on. Uh, we heard another dull roar that shook things a little bit, and we're waiting to see what else is going on. Right now, that's about all we know, that something is happening. We're hearing pops and things shaking, but uh, people are staying relatively, relatively uh, calm around here. People evacuated in an orderly way to the shelters, but apparently there is something going on. The, uh, uh, Patriot missiles, we're assuming their Patriots have gone outbound, and we've heard some explosions, uh, and uh, that's, uh, that's about it uh, for right now. We'll get back to you when we know something else. Something is happening here, and we're watching, we're scanning the skies for something else. Uh,
coming in, but uh, right now we uh, can't uh, see much of anything. And frankly, this is what we can show you on television right now because of uh, military restrictions from both the uh, Saudis and uh, the U.S. Uh, CD, if you need to take cover, I notice uh, that you've got your gas mask in your hands. If you need we, to put it on, we, we please have, do so. If you need to take cover, we, please do so. We, uh, if you are it. able, if you are able we, to take a question, uh, did you uh, think that away. the possible threat would be over because it is now morning there? It's what well, just after the, six o'clock in the morning. The, yeah, the whole thing is everyone assumed that the threat would be over because it was uh, early morning. But the thing about Saddam Hussein is that he has never done the expected. And right now we have, uh, you know, once again been uh, surprised with the unexpected, um, an air raid, uh, an apparent attack, although we can't say what the outgoing missiles hit at approximately 20 after 7 in the morning Saudi Arabian time. Um, all the other attacks have occurred from 10 o'clock at night till four three four in the morning this is the first one to take place uh, in eastern saudi arabia during the daylight hours now that sound you hear behind me is the uh, hotel War richard thicker it's not the uh, national by afternoon so people are looking up in the sky scanning the skies to see what they can see do we see much of anything out there can we can we see much of anything okay well apparently there was there was yeah there was some word of uh of uh, outgoing again there we cannot be specific about the direction all right we are now led to understand that there are also firings in another city in saudi arabia uh cnn's carl rochelle is, is here with me he just came up uh carl i know we can't be very specific given these restrictions but uh, within those parameters what did you see well what i saw i, I didn't see anything hit i looked very almost straight above us there is a vapor trail coming from my right to my left, and there's a cloud of uh, something. It looks like it might have been an explosion, a cloud, uh, a white say. He's uh, putting on a gas mask. There hasn't been any gas dropped here that we could tell. You smell uh, anything? No. Oh. You probably you may smell some of the fumes from uh, a, uh, a missile exhaust going off. The missiles use a rocket, a cordite, some sort of burning. And uh, we just heard a little, little thump just then. But uh, I have to apologize for that. I, I caught a whiff of something and felt momentarily uh, dizzy. You're more experienced in <laughs> military affairs than I am, but it might have been a little. Um, gas from the uh, from the rocket exhaust. There well, apparently wasn't anything. A lot of people have the respirators on just in case. And, and uh, again, you uh, you run to get down here. You, uh, in my case, uh, jumped out of bed uh, hearing the air raid warning go on. You run down three flights of stairs to get out of here. It's probably a hundred yards. You hyperventilate a little bit, yeah. and you're nervous. Uh, one thing one thing we have to point out, just so people won't think people are panicking. Most people are in their shelters. They've taken cover in their shelters, and in the time. We've been in Saudi Arabia. I've not seen any evidence of panic in the streets or people running around. You know, people are not exactly taking this as a matter of course, but there's been no wholesale panic or anything. People are, are taking orderly precautions to deal with uh, the stuff that's going on right now. Okay, I, again, everything seems to be quiet. What I saw uh, when I walked down, when I came running down, someone had said there is, there is a hit upstairs over our heads, right straight up, up, up above us. And I looked up, and you could see the vapor trail, the contrail that's made by an aircraft or a rocket at high altitude. And there was a round puff of smoke uh, that indicated something happened at that point, uh, a lot of smoke. It could be a hit from one of the Patriots taking down a, a Scud missile inbound, or taking down an aircraft, for that matter. But right now, where we are, we have absolutely seen nothing happen. A little boom one time, a small boom, could have been the sound traveling from high on. That's not actually confirming that anything happened. We don't know that there is a hit or anything. We're just telling you what we think and what we see at this point. The air raid sirens are running. The air raid is going on. Could very well be something has happened, but uh, we're all safe right here. The reason I'm wearing a helmet is because it's easier and safer to put it on your head than it is to carry it around in your hand. If you're just trying to be prudent, uh, CD is, uh, is carrying his gas mask with him. I have mine strapped on at my side. Uh, you'll get some indication that there is gas, and one of the indications that there has been gas, there'll be an explosion pretty close to you. There has to be a way to deliver it. As far as we know, uh, they, uh, they have not yet delivered any 
in a uh, in a rocket vehicle, in a Scud type vehicle down to this area or anywhere else. Uh, could happen, but there should be plenty of warning on that. Yeah, Carl, and again, I have to uh, apologize for the audience for yelling gas and putting the gas mask on, but what happened, as Carl explained, is sometimes when the propellant goes off, I believe that's what it would be, you get this whiff of something, I felt momentarily choked up and dizzy and thought, well, better safe than sorry, and it turned out that was not the case, but again, that could have just been the propellant from the outgoing missile. We have seen streaks outgoing, we heard the a bang, but as Carl said, there's no hard evidence that anything was hit. We know what we saw, but we can't speculate about what was in it or what it was. And so far, uh, there's been no evidence that uh, the Iraqis have been able to use chemical warheads in, in any of these studs. Yeah, I'm, I'm we're concerned about chemicals is certainly well taken. Uh, I've been through oh, at least three or four uh, breathing fires. Gentlemen. Both the American military and the NATO military on this. Uh, Gentlemen. Just, just Carl, like, yes, yes. Excuse me for breaking in. Uh, Charles Jaco, Carl Rochelle.